In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I'm going to take you to the best barn sale ever. I can't wait to show you around because I spent all my money here. So if you're ready, let's head on to the barn sale. Before we get started though, I just want to welcome you if you're new here to Flea Market Rescue. My name's Kelly Sherry. I do a lot of home decor makeovers and furniture flips. If you're interested in learning how to do some of this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. As many of you know, I have been on vacation and I really needed a vacation, so it was really nice to spend some time at our cottage. Now, on our way to the cottage, guess what? I came across the best barn sale ever. And the best part, everything was half off. Yes, half off everything. So before we go in, I have to show you how cute her house is. After you park your car, you walk down this gravel pathway and it goes past her house and it leads right into the barns. Just look at these two old bikes that she has displayed on her lawn. How stinking cute. And will you just look at her little farmhouse? Oh my gosh, I love her porch. It is so quaint and I could just picture myself in the morning sitting out there and just having a cup of coffee and listening to all the nature. It just looks so peaceful. And as I rounded the corner, that's when I saw it, the barn. I could not wait to go in and see what she had. So cute. And if the day wasn't already going great, when I saw the sign 50% off, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. Let me in there. So she had this barn sectioned off like into rooms. I love that white vase and those dried flowers. That was one thing about her. She had a lot of dried flowers displayed in her items and it just drew me to them. Do you see those chickens? I don't know how I missed them, but I should have bought them. And here's why. Remember this red chicken that I did a DIY project with? I used the baking soda method. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. This is what I turned that red loud screaming chicken into. I staged it with this really cute wagon and put greenery around it and it just came out awesome. And there sat three that I totally overlooked and I know I could have definitely flipped them. And they would have been half off. Oh well, I still found a lot of stuff here. As you can see, she had a lot of vintage kitchen items. To all my Pyrex girls out there, check out these. I really like these white shutters too. They'd be great for a display at a vintage market. I couldn't believe the amount of antiques here and her prices were fabulous and then half off I just went nuts here now the best part is the second barn I can't wait to show you that if these fabric balls had been in more of like a neutral color a cream color I definitely would have bought them but I don't really do pinks or anything like that so I kind of skipped over those now, I like these hoops. I didn't notice those either. It's funny what you notice after the fact. And also, when I was at Utica Antique Flea Market, I picked up a pair of scissors. I didn't notice these scissors. I would have definitely bought those too. I wanna do like a frame with vintage scissors being displayed in them. Now, let's meet Marsha. She's the one who owns this barn here. Hi there. This is Marcia, the Junk Girl sale. And over the years, we've had seasonal sales for 16 years. And so we just have a wide variety of all kinds of merchandise. Looking at retirement, so we've got a lot of good bargains all through the place, worth your while. Two buildings and outside and lots of good junk. So come on out and see us. Wow, will you look at all those vintage cheese graters? That is some really beautiful glassware. And look at what she did with the dried flowers. Again, it attracts your eye right to it. Let's head outside and check out some of the things there. Oh my gosh, will you look at this angel? It's made out of rusty tools 
and an ironing board. Oh, how clever is that? This large sphere is cool and also the bird bath too. I really like that. I love these. If you remember when we went to Midland, I picked up some vintage drawers. What I like about these is that they're white. You can put flower pots in them. They just make a great display. I like this toolbox too because you can plant flowers in them and put a saying on it and it just looks really neat. Here's just an example of that. So as you can see, a toolbox makes a great planter. Now I didn't end up buying this because I got so distracted from what was behind it. Look at you guys, little feeders. Oh my gosh, and there's like seven of them. I think I've even seen Joanna Gaines use them. I have to get these. Now these are some really cool window panes and I love the black one. Do you remember just about two weeks ago we did a really cute window display? from an old window frame and some fencing that I got out of the garbage. I just love looking at stuff that has rust on it and has just a lot of character. All right, you guys, are you ready to go into the second barn? This is where I found most of my stuff. Again, see how she used those dried flowers? Oh, what do we have here? Vintage brushes. Let me show you how I used one of these. As you can see, it makes a cute photo holder. So at $4, this would be an awesome deal and we are getting it for half off. So how can we not get it for $2? This is a cute windmill sign. I bought this calendar with the flowers because again, look at the flowers, love it. Now remember, if there's anything you see, I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can get a hold of Marsha because again, she is retiring and she's selling this stuff at very affordable prices. This bed frame was only $15. Think about what kind of bench you can make with this. Wait a minute, actually it would have been $7.50. Oh my gosh. I loved this door too, but I loved the wreath and I bought that wreath. It ended up being $3.50. I've been seeing these silhouettes everywhere, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get these because I think it would be cool. They do like a collage, you know, you put a couple of this and that, and those are just like added things on your wall. This is a great ladder for your blankets and it would have been $5. I ended up going back into the first barn because my hands were full. And so I had Marsha total up some of the stuff that I had gathered up. Look you guys, I found all these linens. And then you know how these metal boxes are really popular. Look at that. This is really cool. And I love how she staged these. these. This is really cute. Oh, I was not done. I went back into that barn and I was searching for my treasures. This place is incredible, you guys. This was really interesting. 
I love how Marsha staged this. It is picture perfect. I thought this frame was absolutely gorgeous. Um, there was no price on it, so I had to ask Marsha. I think she said it was like five or six dollars, so I definitely took it. Look at you guys, she's just adding things up. I have more inside. Now, while Marsha was adding up another round of things I picked up, I thought I'd take a quick look around just so I didn't miss anything. Oh, it looks like I found one more thing. So I tossed the thought of getting these back and forth. I loved them because they were white, but they did have quite a bit of rust. I know rust gives character, but did it really take away from the white? So you know what? I just kind of passed on them. Maybe I should have got them. I don't know. I headed back into the first barn so that I could pay Marsha and then just take a quick look to make sure I didn't miss anything. I thought this mirror was gorgeous. guys I'm getting ready to load up look at this dress form you know how I love dress forms I have these all filled this all is mine too and I have more outside so thank you for letting us tour your little shop and thank you I appreciate that <laughs> thank you so much Kelly appreciate thank every all your business today thank you well today was a beautiful day I haven't even made it to my cottage and I couldn't be more thrilled. No, thank you, Marsha. This was awesome. And I drove to my cottage with my car absolutely packed. Next week, I'm gonna show you what I did with the crate and the flower sacks that I bought from Marsha. Here's a sneak peek.
So don't forget to tune in next week to see these wonderful projects. And I have a special announcement. Next week, those stencils that you saw in the preview will be available in my Etsy store and on my website. And I don't know if you remember the project that we did the other week. We used this cute little cutout wooden chicken. All right, so I have these little cutout chickens and I will have those available in my Etsy store very, very soon. But not only will I have those in there, I will have other ones available as well. And that's because I bought a glow forge, you guys. Truth be told, it arrived in February and I have just been very busy and intimidated and I have not worked with it until now. I should have used this a lot sooner. I love the Glowforge. I am sold on it. If you're looking to purchase a Glowforge, you can save up to $500 on one and I will leave a referral code in the description for you. I just have to show you what it can do. So we press the button and let the Glowforge do its work. It cut this chicken out within 35 seconds. And voila, we have a wooden chicken that we can use on our projects. For those of you who have no plans of getting Glowforge, don't worry, I got you. I'm going to have cows, pigs, sheep, bunnies, geese, and a lot of other unfinished wood pieces for you to use on your craft projects. Now let's have a show and tell. Now I did a little show and tell for my mom when I got to the cottage. She went up for the 4th of July and she was really surprised at all the stuff I found. Now I'm gonna do a little show and tell for you as well to show you exactly what I bought. All right, so I found this wooden box. She had $10 on this, so that would make that $5. I thought this was a really cool box and being that it's wood, it's just perfect. Now, what would I do with that, you wonder? You could paint it, you could put some transfers on it, um, you could just keep it like that, put some flowers in it. It's just really a beautiful wooden box. And for five dollars, how could I how could I not get it? Okay. Now, next up, you remember I loved her flowers that she had in there. Normally I would not pick up something like this, but the flowers sold me. Um, I think if you put flowers in things, you know, dried flowers, it just really draws your eye to it. And this is something I probably wouldn't have gotten, but I did because of it. And let's see, this would have been $12, so she sold it to me for $6. What a bargain. Love this. Oops, I'm already breaking up my stuff. All right. So I have the silhouette pictures. I know there's another one. There's a man. Oh, here we go. I got these here. Again, I've been seeing these everywhere. They're like really hot right now. Um, I saw like on Pinterest, someone did a whole collage. And then, you know, like they had like an old license plate. They had maybe some newspaper clippings in a frame. And then they also had this you know, like a silhouette. Everything was done in black and white, and not to say that you couldn't do that, but I think these are worth some money. I'm gonna have to look them up on eBay. Um, maybe we'll do that together. All right, so I'm looking at these, and I'm not really seeing the exact same ones, but these right here are $79. And let's see if we see any more. Okay, so I'm not really seeing any more of these that look similar to ours, but as you can see, they're a lot more than $7.50. Oh, I forgot to tell you how much they were. Let's see. So she had $15 for the set. I got them for $7.50. And you know what I'm going to be doing? I am going to make some of these silhouettes. 
on the um, Glowforge. I think they'll be really cool. You'll see them in the next project. I thought this was really, really cool. This is a mold and uh, a model of 1916. It's just like a, a box. I'm working with one hand here because I have the camera and another. I don't know if I can get that open with one hand. But anyway, it looks like a butter mold. Whether it is or not, I'm not quite sure. Maybe one of you guys know. But this was $4, so I got this for $2. How could I not get it? Remember the brush? Yep. Four dollars, so I got it for two. And we can do some really cute displays. You could get a couple more brushes, put it in a frame. Um, you can use it as a photo holder, like I did, like I showed you. So for two dollars, I could not pass this up. Um, I got these graders from her. This was three dollars. And so it actually was $1.50. This one, she had four on, so that was $2. You can um, add a photo to this with maybe a clothespin, or you could tie it around with some jute. You could do some really cute stuff during Christmas. You could add some fresh pine and a ribbon. I mean, there's just a lot of things you could do with these to make them look really special. And for that price, I bought them. Just so you know, I found a really, oh, sorry, got a lot of stuff there. Yikes. <laughs> anyway, I found this cheese grater, and this was $1.50. I mean, because, you know, it was half off. I never saw really a curved one before. You know, I go to a lot of flea markets. I really don't see these. Maybe I'm just not looking for them. I don't know. But I thought this was really unusual, so I had to get it for $1.50. Now, remember when I came across these little feeders? Again, I could swear that I saw in an episode Joanna Gaines using these. Maybe one of you guys remember out there. I don't know. But I could put this on maybe some um, pallet wood. You know, hang one of those on a pale wood frame and then put flowers in these. She had $5 on them, so I got them for $2.50 each. I thought they were still. I mean, I really don't come across these very often. Uh, not at all. <laughs> so that was really cool to find all these. So we're going to use those and I cannot wait to use them. I came across these old mirrors. Um, she had five on there. I bought it for $2.50. Uh, probably the same price on that. This one was six, so it would be $3. Now with these, I'm gonna take the Glowforge and I think I'm gonna etch them and then make them a magnet for a fridge. I think that would look really awesome. Maybe do some kind of saying on there and use them as an antique magnet. Um, oh, I really loved this. Again, you know why? Because she added some flowers in there. I mean, it just really makes it. Um, I think she had 10 on here, so it was $5. Speaking of, I couldn't resist this here. This was $3, so I got it for $1.50. And um, I probably would have not gotten this bottle by itself, but you add a couple, you know, flowers in there, dead dried flowers, and it just makes it a little more special. So I bought that. Let's see what else. <gasps> Oh, you guys, look at this. I found a cookbook there, and it has all these old recipes. I love getting old recipes. Love it. So I'm going to have to check that out later. I will not be selling this. This is for me. 
Now these springs, yes, I have come across bed springs, but what I liked about these is they're very narrow going up. Usually they're a lot thicker, you know, but these were very narrow. And let's see, what did she have on these here? She had $5, so I got them for $2.50 each. During, you know, Christmas, you can put a snowman hat on there or Halloween, you could put a pumpkin. Maybe that's something we'll do in the fall. So I pick up things when I see them. And I thought this was a really good deal because it's just character. Where are you gonna find old bed springs? And especially these really narrow ones. All right, let's see, what else? Um, this cup was $2, and I love old cups like this, metal ones. They, you know, seem like, you know, you can picture a pine tree, a little, you know, seedling in there. Um, it just, it has that Christmas vibe, and I really like that, and we will probably be using, we'll probably be using that during Christmas. I'm normally not into kitchen you know, utensils, but these were so old and they were at such a good price. I knew there's something I can do with them. So let's see, got this one for $2 because it was four. Look, it has the red handle on it. I mean, this is really old. I really like that. Now this spoon, oh my gosh, this is total farmhouse. And I don't think I paid very much for it. She had three on there, so $1.50. And then, I don't even know what this is called. Maybe you guys know. Is this to cut cheese? I don't know. Um, so this was $1.50. And then she had these little strainers. And let's see. She had three on those, so those were $1.50 too. How could I not get these, you know? Um, I could see doing like a frame with old kitchen utensils. That would look really cool. And you would definitely sell that. And these were so cheap that I could afford to do that. Oh yeah, remember my last find as I went around? I love this colander. This is really old and it just has a lot of great charm. And let's see, what'd she have on that? $4, $2, you guys. Come on, I had to get it. Now this is a wooden sewing box. I don't know if I got that from somewhere else. I'm not sure, I pulled this out of my trunk, but I definitely did get this from her, a um, dollar fifty. Look at this, you guys. You can put little legs on it, you can put some flowers in it. Just a really good find for a dollar fifty. I thought this box here was really cool because you could paint it. You, it has a nice wide space here that we could put, you know, maybe one of our farm animals and do a little saying here. It just, there's a lot of possibilities with this. And this was only $3, so I definitely wanted to get that. All right, let's see what else we got here. Remember what I told you about toolboxes? This looks exactly like the one that I showed you in the video a little earlier. And I had to get this. I love the rust on this. This is, really has some great color to it. And it's gonna make like a nice planter. I don't see a price on it, but I'm sure it wasn't very much. Now, these were so interesting. She had them in a glass bottle, I believe, and she called them flowers. So look at this. These are actual knobs, like maybe hot, cold for your faucet or outdoor faucet. And it looks like it's welded with, you know, like a something that you can put in the ground. And that's exactly what she had. She had that right in front of her barn, a whole bunch of these. She called them flowers. And as soon as I saw those displayed, I had to have them. I normally probably would have never got something like this on its own. But when I saw it in front of the barn, I thought, oh my gosh, gotta get these. 
Now these were $6, but well worth it. Where you're gonna find knobs like this, it's already soldered and you can easily put it in your garden right away. I'm gonna keep these for the cottage. I paid $6 and so that would be $3 each. Well worth it to me. I really liked this set of frames. I probably will not keep the print in there, but I love these. I love circle frames. I think I wanna paint them white and add some cool kind of uh, black and white um, prints or graphics. And I really love this. This was so cool. I loved the detail on it. Very beautiful. I probably am going to paint it white. Um, she wanted $12, and so I got it for 6 Love it. Now, I really love this stand, and so did my mom. When she saw that, she's like, that is really cool. And I'm going to try to find some old... Um, pints that I can put in there. I think that's going to look really cool and I think this thing is going to sell really fast. Now on her counter she had this dress form. You know I love dress forms. I'm like would you consider selling this? And she said sure and I think she gave it to me for like five dollars. I was so happy. This was one of my favorite finds. Do you remember the wreath I showed you on the door? I love the muted greens in this. And she had $7 on here, so I got this for $3.50. I mean, you could put it on a door like she had it. You can put it on, you know, a frame. It's just, there's a lot of possibilities. And for $3.50, there is no way I was leaving this behind. I did find several boxes. And as you, as you know, one of them I've already used. This one was $2.50, and you, there's definitely stuff we can do with that. Very, very cute. Now, one of my favorite finds had to be all these flower sacks. Most of them are plain, so that's great because I can stencil on them. I can use the heat press on them and put some kind of image. And she had $3 on them, so I got them for $1.50. Now this one actually had one of these logos on there. And what you could do is you could frame that and it would look really cool in a laundry room. So again, these were an awesome, awesome find. And as you know, we already used one of those. This frame, again, just gorgeous. Look at the detail in there. And I, I think she sold it to me for 5 or $6. I can't remember because there's not a price on there. But I'm going to keep that for sure. To look at this, you guys. So this was by her counter. And it was her blackboard. I'm like, are you going to sell that? Because if you are, I definitely want it. So she said, well, let me think about it. When I came back, she had it off the wall. And she said, how about $8? Do you see it in the back there? I said, oh, I'm definitely going to take that. So I was thrilled to get that. Look at the old ledge on that. It's just really, really cool, and I'm so glad she sold it to me. I almost forgot one. This, love how she has that ribbon on there. I probably would have never bought this bottle, but you know what was in there. Totally love this. Well, that's everything. I think I did really well at this. This was the best barn sale ever. Now, if you saw anything through the tour of her barn and you might want it, I will leave a link in the description so that you can get a hold of her. I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July weekend. I know I did. I had a beautiful vacation. We danced. We sat around the campfire. We took a boat ride. We played Tripoli. And most of all, we made new memories for us to cherish for years to come. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so glad I was able to take you along with me. 
Make sure to tune in next week so you can see some of the projects that we made from some of the items that we bought here at the barn sale. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.